All right, guys, you know when you see this Fragili box that we have a big unboxing, four books in here. We're gonna open them up, talk about them, and get the GPA. All right, guys, another fun CGC unboxing. There's four books here. We're gonna get into this. We're gonna slice and dice our way with that ceramic blade. Uh, but first, if you could hit that subscription button, hit that notification bell. If you enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up. And I wanted to say thank you as well for watching these videos. I do appreciate it. Uh, let's go, huh? Without further ado, let's slice into this bad boy. Four books. We are going to go over the GPA. We are going to talk about them. There are some. There are some books, some modern books that just keep on climbing. Gets me every time. So I always like to show the packaging, right? They do. A, they do a good job. And I like when they do the rubber band. Huh? I like that. So here we go. First up. Let me see. Oh, good. I'm hiding it. G.I. Joe number one. This is a direct edition. This is based on the Hasbro toy line. Pay attention to this book, guys. I don't know if you've been watching. Go check eBay. This thing is climbing like crazy out of nowhere. I feel like it started with the Transformers, uh, DC Comics Presents 47, and it may have started there. That's the first He-Man, Skeletor, Transformers, Watch Out for the Thundercats, all these 80s cartoons, toy lines, everything that we enjoyed going through the roof. This as well. I feel like this is late to the pack. Um, presents fa Fantastic. Looks well. I mean, it's got to be a 9.0 or better. I'd be disappointed in an 8.5. It's got to be a 9.0 or better. A couple little spine ticks. Otherwise, looks great. 9.0 white pages. Beautiful. G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, number one from 1982. Larry Hama. Uh, he's, he, he was all over G.I. Joe. That guy wrote a lot of this. Um, so, that's the first one. Next one. G.I. Joe Real American Hero number one, newsstand edition. You guys just saw this book not too long ago, if you remember. I don't need to explain everything again. A uh, little bit of tanning on the bottom. I mean, again, this thing presents really well. I don't know, whatever. Let's see. Another 9.0 white pager, not bad, but it is newsstand. And newsstand recently has just been getting a little bit of a premium. Uh, looks, looks great. I don't need to explain anything else. Let's keep going. All right, so the last two books are the same book. I'm expecting around the mid-grade, mid nothing over an eight, but I'll explain why I got them graded, even in that condition. Whatever one we open first, let's see. Amazing Spider-Man 300, first full appearance of Venom. Uh, I get this book graded in, uh, in any condition now. This book just keeps climbing. We will go over it later with the GPA portion of this video. It doesn't stop. It, uh, we got a newsstand edition here. Again, like I said before, a little bit of a premium recently. A lot of spine ticks on this thing. It's going to be somewhere around mid-grade, and I don't even care. Five, five. Oh, white pages, though. That's nice. Uh, first Venom, guys. This is going through the roof. It just does not stop. It just doesn't stop. And we have one more ASM 300 down here. Uh, this one is a direct edition. It's also in a little bit better condition. So, I don't know, seven or an eight, somewhere between seven and eight, seven, seven, five, or an eight. All right, let's see. I'd like to see white pages too. Off white to white, seven and a half. All right, not, not, whatever, it's fine. Uh, we are going to go over the pricing right now. Stick around right after this. All right, guys, welcome to the GPA portion of today's video. Uh, we're going to start with G.I. Joe. Number one, we do have one in a newsstand, one in direct. We're just going to price them the same, so it doesn't matter. Both 9.0, both white pages. And these things, 90-day average on these, $218. So 400 bucks between the two books. Really, really excited about that. And green arrows everywhere. Uh, the 12-month average is like $150 on this book or $140. I forgot what it was, but uh, it's climbing. A little late to the party, but it's climbing. Let's move on to ASM 300. Let's go over the 5.5 first. 
Guys, I did not expect these prices. Um, when I find the low to mid grade, and th these are mid, a little bit better than mid grade, uh, all I think of, okay, these are affordable. Somebody's going to be able to grab one of these that can't necessarily afford a higher grade one, which is great because, you know, you want to own the book, you should be able to go get the book. I did not expect these prices. Absolutely blown away by it. For example, the 5.5. And I told you they're going up and they are going up. A 5.5 right now. GPAs over the last 90 days with numerous sales. This is not one sale and aberration. This is, this is I believe it was around 15 sales over the last 90 days. $403 for the 5.5. The last sale on that book, $485. It's still going up. I can't believe it. I can't explain it. I don't understand. It's still climbing. We're talking about a 5.5 modern book, copper, modern, whatever you want to say. It's from 1988. Uh, insane. And there's a lot of them out there. Insane. It gets a little wackier. Let's move over to the 7.5. Again, I thought these would be kind of affordable. I'm thinking like between two and $350 maybe between the two of them, you know. Uh, but no, that's not the case. The 7.5 90-day average is $526. Crazy. You think that's crazy? Because I think that's crazy. Gets even nuttier, all right? The last sale on a 7.5, $697. We're talking about a $700 book right now. I am blown away. Uh, because I thought these were more affordable than that. And good thing I checked because it's getting bonkers right now. No explanation. I Yeah, Venom, the Venom 2 movie is coming out soon. Uh, a lot of hype behind Spidey. His movie's coming out next year, I believe. Or is it this year? No, nah, it's got to be next year. Um, supposedly, they're merging everything. You're going to start seeing Venom and Spidey. I, I don't know, but it's going bonkers and it's across the entire hobby. So it's not just these books, but uh, crazy. That's it for me with this one, guys. This was a fun unboxing because I did not expect these numbers and they're going to be grow going up every day. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below. What, I, I, you got to be totally blown away at these prices too because I am. The G.I. Joes, I think they were a little undervalued all this time. Now they're starting to catch up to where they should be. These ASM 300s are just shockingly expensive. Shockingly expensive. So watch out for those. Uh, thanks again. Hit that subscription button. And as always, keep it comics. <laughs>